Welcome back guys to the Koi Pan Experience. We are going to do an unboxing, a mini review, and a demo of the small but reliable Resin ACD30. I recommend this air pump for aquariums as well as shallow ponds. The Resin ACD30 can run on regular AC power and during blackouts and power outages, it can also run up to 8 hours with its built-in battery. Let me show you the specs here. Its input power is 20 watts and air output is 30 liters per minute and there it is the 8 hours or less battery working time now it's time to open it this is the air speeder with 2, 4, 6, 8 way split also comes with this short hose. So here it is guys, the Resin ACD30. Let me remove this protection tape. This tape is here to ensure that the unit will not accidentally turn on during its packing and transport. Because this unit is already pre-charged from the factory and it will turn on if the block knob is turned clockwise. Here let me show you. For a small air pump, the Resin ACD30 is a loud unit. If you're going to use it for an outdoor setup, it's perfectly fine. For indoors though, it might be an inconvenience due to the noise it makes. Especially if you like it quiet at night. So here again is the air splitter. Two, four, six, eight-way splitter. You attach this to the air outlet of the Resin ACD30 using this short hose. All this come with the box and connecting them is very easy. I predict a much longer hose will be needed for most final setups though. Let me just set this aside. Let's focus back to the Resin ACD30. This is the plug of the unit. Let's turn it on. Right now it's operating and it's getting power from its battery box indicates that the battery can run up to 8 hours or less. Emphasis on the or less, okay? So take note guys. Now let's see what happens when I plug the rest of ACD30 to an AC outlet. There, the red light came on indicating that it is now plugged to an AC power and automatically it will start charging the battery. The yellow light came on, indicating that the battery is now fully charged. Let's turn on the unit. So the green light came on, indicating that the unit is now on or is now operating. Now I will remove the plug to show you what happens. There. The red light turned off because AC power source is now unavailable. The yellow light is off too because the battery is not full anymore since the unit now is using the battery. The green light is still on because the unit is still operating. I need a battery replacement for the Resin ACD30 and here's a glimpse of the inside of the unit. After removing all the bottom screws, lift the top cover this way. Making sure to take care of the wiring connections in this front side of the unit. So this is the inside of the Resin ACD30 guys. This is the battery. It's 12 volts and it's really small. Here's a small fuse on the passive wire going to the battery. Over here is the business end of this air pump. Air is pumped from this side and that side. Air then goes to these two hoses and then merges onto the air outlet. 
this particular unit is 11 months old and now runs only 10 minutes in its battery. That's why I'm replacing it with this new battery right here. The dimension of this battery is 15 by 6.5 by 9 centimeters. And again, it's 12 volts. Replacing the battery is a pretty simple thing to do. If you're like me, who knows that the red wire is positive and that the black wire is negative, then I believe you can do this as well. <laughs> By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. Okay, the next video you will see is a demonstration of the resin ACD30 in action. We'll connect it to an oxy ring or a rubber ring in only 3 feet deep water. So stay tuned guys. This right here is the setup for our demo of the resin ACD30. That oxy ring is hanging exactly 3 feet underwater. This pond by the way is 5 feet deep. Here's the resin ACD30 ready to go. Let's turn it on and see how it goes. For the resin ACD30, I would not recommend it to be used at ponds that are deeper than 3 feet. This is a small unit and is not designed to handle the water pressure of deep ponds. The resin ACD80 and the resin ACD130 is what you need for deeper ponds. But for aquariums and shallow ponds, the ACD30 will suffice. Here now at 3 feet, it is doing quite well. Okay, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And I'd love to hear feedback from you guys, so please comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated on all my latest practical fish keeping ideas. I would really appreciate that. Thank you for watching guys and 
See you in my next video.